So the instructions. Okay, listen. I already knew that happened. Blah, blah, blah. See? Mm. That's how you handle that. We have success. Man, that's a narrow save, let me tell you. So, what are you doing? I have quite a bit of pressure on it. I'm hoping it's enough to get that pot and start releasing this pin. stuff going on here with um, all of our cars all two of them well we had three one smashed up and got auctioned off the other one is in the shop um, Polaris don't do us dirty don't let us down honestly I've been reading about this guys I want everybody to comment on this video if you have a turbo s or you know somebody that has a turbo s and they've had an issue like we did where we were going into limp mode we we're throwing codes I want you guys to comment below because I'm planning on sending our whole string over to Polaris because it's obviously, it must be a known issue. If we know about it, then they must know about it. And I'm not saying it's a bad car. I still love it. But I'm looking for a little support and some uh, players to throw some uh, advice out there for us so we can get this done. Um, aside from that, now we can't am is having an issue. There's a clutch problem. One of the rollers. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, uh, we're struggling to even make this trip. We got a broken. I just screwed this up. Uh, we have a cage for the Can-Am. I decided to throw that in the mix. That's crazy. I did, however, before we got here, you'll notice the garage is a little, it's, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and we have dirt tires. Woo! Mounted in the back. These two are ready to go. Let's dirt see tires mounted up. Okay, so Actually, we're going... Take a look at this spare real quick. First trip, desert. Second trip, Glamis. We have one weekend in between. Yeah, look at that. It's oh, holding sure. air, and it's got that. Look at that weld, guys. Precision. I might have had to use some uh, starter food to make it that much. Well, I smell it. And yeah. I saw your post, so don't try to hide it from me. You <laughs> said fire in the tire, and I was like, God dang it, why is he doing this without me? Okay. So what happens? Okay. So here's what we did. We took a piece of copper wire, we crammed it in the threads, we we drove this Just say set, not crammed. Yeah, it's we... In there. It's an old um, ancient... Just go on, move on. Uh, ninja trick. Right. So here's what we're going to do now. We're going to start applying gently some pressure because, <laughs> because here's what happened before I went into this like a bull in a china shop. Like me. And I screwed this one up. You know I, what? I You're really channeling did. me because I wasn't here and now he's doing, he's pulling a brandy. Yeah, I, I, I screwed up. Cramming into I stuff. screwed up. This could have been safe. But I'm going to tell you, if you're doing this, be very, very careful. Uh, it takes heat and I'll show this you. This music right here goes dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 yeah. da, or uh, and I'll show you how the heat works in a minute. Okay. Hopefully this is going to let us put enough pressure to get this pin out. But it takes a lot. Um, I can do some researching and see if anybody else is, has a fix or not. I've, I've seen, actually seen Doug on Side by Side blog go through the same exact situation. Okay. Bing, bing, bing. So, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start applying a little bit of pressure, nothing crazy, and then some heat. Oh God. So it's a combination of heat. And uh, pressure. Okay, this. So let me let me put a little more pressure this time. So that's a good thing. So this is kind of cool. Let me see if I can get enough pressure on it. Okay. This is kind of cool if it works. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you you put the pressure on it, right? Right. Please. Then when you put the heat to it, right. you'll hear it go pop. It's when it heats it's up. It's gonna pop off and hit me in the face. No, it barely moves a little. Oh, just okay. enough. Watch here. Here, because here's what you have. You have a cast aluminum piece mm -hmm. that's squeezed tightly around this hardened steel. Okay. So what happens, I'm heating the aluminum and it releases in this thing. It it, pops out. You'll hear it. It's okay. pretty cool. Okay.
you Let's find? Let's put a little more pressure. Okay. See if it takes it without popping those threads. Come on. Pops. Come on. Makes me nervous. Don't hurt. Yeah. Oh. Was that a pop front? I don't know if that was a good pop or a bad pop, honestly. That sounds poppy. I think that's a bad pop. Um, it's hard for me to tell. It's hard for me to tell, too. I can't see anything. Pretty sure it's a bad pop. And I'm going to apply a little more pressure in. We'll see if the threads are stripping, which I think they are. I might have heated the... Um, yeah. So, we... Alright. You wrecked so, it? Uh, you wrecked him? We're going to try some more wire in the threads. We're going to... We're going to apply some more of, uh... More of the original fix. Which is the wire? Yep. That thing. Okay, so... Tell me what happened. Why? How did we get in this predicament in the first place? Uh, secondary roller broke, and we just need to get the old ones out. How does that happen when a secondary roller bro roller breaks? Is that a typical problem? I mean, yeah, I think it's pretty you... common. Is it just from use? I mean, is it yeah. something you can do to prevent it? I don't think so. Okay. I mean, not for us. Stay off the skinny pedal? Yeah. Not going to happen. So, yeah. that's a no. Yeah, I'm going to say for us, not preventable. For uh, those dudes who get 2,500 miles out of a belt, you just, uh, just probably not going to happen. You're probably never going to even talk. You're going to look at your clutch. You didn't have to take the cover off. You shouldn't even watch this video because you're just going to get mad at us. Because um, mm -hmm. we're abusive. Because we're a belt abuser. We're abusive to the vehicle. We Bye, are baby. belt blowing fools. All right, so I have two pieces of copper in there. I'm going to try to thread this in there and see what happens. I feel good about this. I feel I know to. goodish to not break. That's how I feel about it. Uh, it is, it's better than bad. It's not liking this a little much, maybe. Um, is there anything I can get for you? Is there a tool that I can buy? That's not uh, as expensive as a only primary or secondary or whatever you gotta buy. Is there something I can get? Here's the thing. Okay, here we go. Sounds like a no. We could probably, I don't know if we could re, like, re-drill and tap this to a b bigger size, but then we have to adapt it, you know? Is it? So, I don't know. every click of the ratchet, he's unsure of whether or not the clutch is going to be completely ruined or usable for the trip that's coming up in less than two weeks. This is completely... I wouldn't have said it in a British accent if it wasn't accurate. That's a newscaster voice. They don't oh, report uh -oh. anything but facts. I didn't realize we're actually just twisting the shit right over there. All right, we're going to give it another shot. I'm, I'm not sure about this at this point. You know, we're never sure about anything, really. Who's really sure about anything? Really? And what's the point of being sure? How boring is that? Ugh, I'm sure this will work. Yeah, change the channel. That's what we do. I'm going to start applying some pressure, and let's hope for the best. I have two pieces of a... Uh, I, feel, I feel given already. Do you? This is not good. SOS, Mayday. Help. I feel like we've said this. I don't time. want to give up right away. We don't give up. All right, I'm going to get a bunch of pressure on it as much as I feel like I can. Wow. And now we're going to put some heat to it again. I have quite a bit of pressure on it. I'm hoping it's enough to get that pot and start releasing this pin. Applying pressure, popping. Okay. okay, yeah, definitely it loosened up. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna apply some more. And then we're gonna heat it up. Oh, okay. Pop. Uh oh. Hopefully that was the right kind of pop. Please. Last time it did the same sound. Okay. Um, but it will start making that. That was a loud. Mm. That's the good pop, I think. I think. I'm pretty sure that's the good pop. Tune your ears. 
And listen to the pop. There's a different pop for every. Yes. Oh, pop, 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 pop. I think that's the good one. Oh, yeah. Pin's coming out. We have success. Man, that's a narrow save, let me tell you. If you <laughs> go to make this same repair, don't go in with guns blazing because you'll thread, strip the thread, you'll have a problem, it sucks. And you'll go down in a blaze of glory, but yeah. it will be, yeah, it'll be a expensive. Glorious, it'll be a glorious blaze. I'm hoping we're going to get all the way out without leaving it. We'll see how, you know, we'll see how this goes. Get a good angle. Okay. We just have to get far enough that we can get that pin in there, or roller. And we're going to have to clean up all that WD-40. We can't have that all So that, it. we got new rollers and our roller has to go in here. And right. so we Don't need to have careful. enough. Careful. I'm not going to touch. So we have to have enough space between that yep. to get the roller in. Yep. Uh, okay. What happened was I stripped out the threads inside the pin. And the way I got around that, I'll show you. I'll just show you again just so Reenactment. you Reenactment. Yeah. I'll, just, I'll show you again just so you understand. Because we're going to have to try to get that thing out of there. It's in there pretty good. Uh, it's cooled down enough that it doesn't hurt so much to touch it now. <laughs> well, you always get burned out here. Here's what happened. I, uh, if you look at it, I didn't realize I was twisting that. Yeah. That's brand new. I just bought this. How much was it? It's not the greatest one. I yeah. am. What? They were, you know, I spent probably a whole $9 each. I'm proud of you. Yeah. I'm so, proud of you. <laughs> nobody else will be. <laughs> but that's okay. So anyway, uh, what happened is... You know, you here the way this works. And I know we covered it just in case. We're gonna get it again. You take this guy, you put an Allen wrench in it, and you thread it into the pin, like we have here. Thread it into the pin, mm -hmm. and then it threads inside of here. You put this in here. You tighten that nut, and it pulls the pin out. Okay. I'm gonna tell you right now, if your clutch is like ours, you won't get it out without applying, applying some heat. So the instructions. Are lacking or no? In certain cases, it becomes seize, clutch, heat, pin. I didn't even know this was there. I'm not sure, but I did what it says. Okay, listen, I already knew that happened. Blah, blah, blah. See? Mm. That's how you handle that. Okay, so, moving on. Anyway, well, so here's here's the way we saved it. We took. Oh, uh, what happened? We're really gonna have to clean this thing up good because. Okay. Yeah, well, you took, can't have Okay, any. so I took wire like this, right? And I crammed it. Nope, nope, not cram. I gently, pr precisely inserted it into the threads. Okay. Like this. Like so. Then yeah. I took the threaded pin and I threaded it in and it gave the threads enough bite to make all this happen. And it pop, pop. And it pop, pop. And it's a pop, pop. It's a different kind of pop-pop. Pop-pop is necessary. Yeah, so I mean, we'll, it, I heard it. So we're going to show you the pop-pop again because we have one more to do. Okay. So I'll loosen this. Sorry, I'm so nervous. You want to make sure that's nice and flush on there. I'm going to start tightening, tightening down this nut, applying pressure. Mm -hmm. And you need two three-quarter inch or one 19 and one three-quarter inch. Wrenches. Wrenches. All right, and we'll start getting... Dose right. wrenches, that's when the name I, of this video. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. That one's going to let go right away. What? Was that, oh, what? pop, pop. What? Are we you gonna... loosen, it probably, as you loose, take them out, it probably relieves pressure on the whole thing, don't you think? No. I don't know. It sounded, this, this it sounded like I knew what I was talking about. This one just, that. I did soak them all with that W and maybe uh, Nothing. this one had a time to. Think. This one had time to think about what it did, not get the heat treatment. Huh? Uh, we should be getting close. Once that, pin, once that roller pops out of there, we're good. Then we're going to clean up our WD-40, mm -hmm. and we'll start reassembling. Do a real good job on the cleaning of this, because you don't want any frizz floating around in your clutch, yeah? This is true. That's what gets in there and knocks your rollers out of whack in the first place, brother. The braces. Common problem. Oh! Ooh, I dropped the water. Uh, dropped it. Yeah, it's a good thing we did this. We went ahead and pulled the other pins. Look, they're both cracked. 
Oh, Rollers, God. I mean. Okay, yeah. They would have gone pretty any time. Yep. We don't want them to go on the trail like happened last time. So these are the ones we got, and they are some G Boost rollers, and yeah. I like how white using. they are. Yeah. What's the difference in material? Yes, absolutely. I'll look it up later, and I won't put it on here because I'll say I will, but I'm not going to, so let's just skip exactly. it. Exactly, let's just be honest right let's now. Let's just skip it. Link below. Kidding. <laughs> Link below. Not really, Tyler. Working all day. Yeah, Tyler J. Don't call me out on that. I don't. And did work you see that he? Did you see his comment where he said, "I watch every. I listen to every single word on the videos." Well, good. Somebody needs to, because I right. obviously don't. Right. I mean, it says to use a five sixteenths roll pin punch. And that's exactly what we do not have. So. This is just reenactment. We actually used. We used a the five correct sixteenth roll punch. Don't look at this. But don't just don't keep your eyes to yourself. Nobody needs to be judgy. So yeah. This is we a family used thing. Exactly what we needed to. And did it go in? We did. We just, and did you put that drop that bolt in to make sure it's sealed all the way? Right now. Okay. We learned this from a what was it? Adrenaline. I'll I'll put a link below, Tyler. Yeah. Or I won't. But it starts with an adrenaline. <laughs> cycles. Adrenaline cycles. I don't know. Maybe those guys um, taught us how to do this. Right, Some people visual. We're gonna drop this screw in and we're done with this one. Rob would say use a hand tool. Rob shut his face. Rob's not here. Rob, he didn't mean that anyways, because I, I didn't mean it. Yeah. When he breaks it, you're gonna have to fix it. <laughs> hand tool. <laughs> so I'm gonna drive that one through a little bit just because I can't get the washer on it currently. Okay. Too far? <laughs> yeah. That was the dumb thing to do right there. No. Because now we gotta bust out the tool. I hope this is not the threat stripped out one because then I gotta do all that crap too. No, you know, well, oh, well, you know, that's a good video, I guess. People, this is the stuff that can happen. If it is the stripped out one, just be like, we'll put the stripped out one back in there to show you what could yeah, happen. Don't do it, don't do it like I do. This is what not to do. Is it a pop on the way in too? Yeah. No, I'm out. I'm going Oh, out. you're going back out. Okay. So, I, drove it in. I wanted to drive it in far enough to hold the washer in place. Oh, yeah. Not right. to, like, just freaking drive it all the way through where you can't get the roller in. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I've been asked, I've been requested to weld. Yeah. Because of my great seat rising welding. <laughs> but I have to work, so we're going to have to find somebody else to do it. Uh, oh God! Oh, you, you. We're gonna choose second best. Somebody requested that you weld the cage. I did. Yeah, I, I can so see that. Go with the flow. I'm pretty sure that's. requested. I did. Probably OSHA approved. You know what? You saw how. All right, we're there. <laughs> we're there. It's in. It's going in. As long as that bolt can seat all the way down, you know that your roller is far enough back into the. Uh, secondary, and I learned that from the other video. I'm almost verbatim saying what the guy said from Adrenaline Cycle. So much props, dudes. Cute. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's it. No way. We're not gonna video the rest of this. We're done. That's We're done. Are we not checking? That's done. Okay. Done. 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 It's a race-inspired UTV roll cage and accessories. One of those things. That's from France. Fragili. It's Fragili. Please handle with care, Jen. Fragili. Fragili. So we're going to show you a little tiny sneak peek. Let me hold it this way. Just in case some reveal happens. Too much reveal. Pretty excited about this. It's been a long time coming. And, you know, I feel a little bit guilty because the new car, or the Razor, yeah. got um, a new, some new clothes. A new hat is because you call tire shoes, you call the cage a hat. I'm going to. Got a new hat, new lid. Oh, snap, you guys. If only we had somebody that would come over here and weld this for. Ah! Okay, let me show you a sneak peek. Ready? It's going to be real fast. Three, two, one. Boop! Okay, so if you want to see what happens, what it looks like, what we're planning on doing, how sexy and sick our car's about to look even more so then um stay tuned because i know there's going to be a video on that pretty soon right now that's really the end